Now, before you perform any troubleshooting steps, first of all, check server status. To check the server status, you can go to the official status.escapefromtarkov.com. Go to this website and over here you can see current server status and you can current server issues. So check for any outage. If there is any outage, then you might face the problem. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any, like if you're using Windows security, first of all, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security, then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browse all apps, go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed. In my case, the game is installed in this location. So open the launcher, you can select this launcher, open and then add an allowed app, browser apps, open build folder over here. Go back, open the build folder, select this exe file. Select this one. Now open this battle life folder and then select be service underscore x64. Now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow another app, click on browse. Go to the game installation folder once again, open the game folder, open the launcher, add the launcher first. In my case, I have already added, again, allow another app, browse, and then go back, open the build folder, select this e, these exes file. I have already added, allow another app, click on browse, select this one open add again allow another app browse and then open battle light select this file open add once the game is added over here now you can relaunch the game similarly if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to the antivirus program now if you're using kaspersky uh, antivirus program make sure that you add the game exe files uh, from the build folder uh, to trusted application, uh, you have to add these exe file. You can open Kaspersky setting, go to security program management, search for the game exe file, open details and rules, uh, details and rules and exception. Set the first three option to do not inspect files before opening, do not monitor program activity, do not monitor activity or of sub program. So add, you have to add all these exe file to your Kaspersky exclusion list. Now the next step is to run launcher as an administrator. Now for this, you can go to the game installation folder and then open the launcher. And then here you can see BSD launcher, make a right click and then run as administrator. Next step is to lower quality texture to uh, texture quality to medium or low. I don't know why, but this has worked for many players. So you, you can try this. Now you can even try to change the reason over here. So once the launcher is open, uh, you can try to change the reason and then you can check. If you're already uh, trying manual reason, in that case, you can try automatic and then check. Also launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings over here and then go to graphics. Now over here, if texture quality is set to like uh, ultra, you can try medium or you can even set it to low quality over here. Click on OK and then click on save and then you can check. Now still not working. Uh, make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So at the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Click on adjust date and time. And make sure set time zone automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. Also set time automatically. If this is off, you can turn it on. And then click on sync now. Sync now is important. If you receive any error, click on sync now again. And once you see the tick over here, go to time and language, language and region, and make sure your country is selected over here. And then you can check. Still not working. Turn off or close VPN. So for many users using the VPN has worked. So you can try both. You can uh, turn on the VPN. You can uh, open the VPN, turn on the VPN and then check. If that does not work, you can turn off the VPN and then close the VPN and then check. Next step is to close third party application. Like if you have a Riot Vanguard, other anti-cheat program or any third party application, close it. Disconnect and reconnect Wi-Fi. Simply disconnect and then reconnect and then check. Switch to different network. So if you have any other network available, you can switch to different network and then check. 
If that does not work, you can even use mobile hotspot. Now you can connect to your phone network over here and then you will see your phone network. You can connect to your phone network over here and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle, shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer, turn off Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router, connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then check. Still not working, try Google DNS server. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center. Click on your internet over here and then go to properties and then select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 over here and then click on properties and over here use the following DNS server addresses type in 8888 and then for alternate you can type in 8844 and then validate settings upon exit click on OK close this now you can relaunch the game and then you can check still not working uh, you can try this DNS server now for this uh, you can go to control panel once again and then click on your internet go to properties and this time uh, again select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 and then you can for this time you can type in preferred DNS server for this you can type in 1111 and for alternate you can type in 1000 sorry 001 then click on validate settings upon exit click on ok close this now you can check now still not working it, it now relaunch the game and then check still not working go to properties once again and this time uh, you can uncheck this internet protocol version 6 ipv6 you can uncheck this box click on ok launch the game and then check once you are done playing the game you can come back and then you can enable it once again click on ok now still not working if you are already trying manual dns like select pro internet protocol version 4 if you are already trying manual, in that case, you can click on obtain DNS server address automatically. Click on OK and then you can go to default and then check. Still not working. Uncheck IPv6. Check it once we have already done. Now run this command. These commands are provided in the video description. Type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now all the commands are provided in the video description. Copy it. And then paste it over here hit the enter key I run all the commands one by one Now once you run all the commands now you can close this restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have an ethernet cable you can uh, go for wired connection and then check next step is to repair or verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check the last step is to update windows now for this you can go to windows update or update security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connection error with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel